using the Focus 14 Blue refreshable Braille display with iOS devices. Hi, I'm Ryan. Today I'm going to show you how I stay connected and on the go using my Focus 14 Blue refreshable Braille display in an iOS device such as an iPad or iPod or iPhone. My Focus 14 is connected wirelessly via Bluetooth to the iPad. I can now use the different navigational buttons on the Braille display to do the same things that the voiceover gestures would do if I were using the touch screen. So now I'll navigate through some of the apps icons on my home screen. Notes. Maps. iTunes U. Pages. Audible. As I press the navigation rocker, the cursor moves from one app to the another and I can read it in Braille or listen to voiceover speak it. I'll move a little bit faster now. Read to my book, Leo, calendar, setting, nebulous, page one of three, adjust a dog, safari. I can even hold down the navigational button and it will move much faster. Page one, nebulous, setting, calendar, Leo, my book, read to audible pages. Now if I want to switch from one home screen to another, I'll use one of the navigational buttons on the front of the Braille display. Page two of three, app store, eight new items. There's page two. Page three of three, camera. Page three, and now I'll move back to page one. Page two of three. Page one of three. Around me. Now let's open up Safari and take a look at browsing the web. Safari. I've moved to the Safari icon on the home screen, and now I'm going to use the right mode button to activate. Safari. Freedom Scientific. Link. Image. Safari has loaded to the freedomscientific.com homepage. I'm going to navigate through some of the web page using the right navigation rocker. Address, HTTP, reader, but reload, but search, Google, close tab for products for load, selected, prop new tab, but freedom scientific, link, skip to main content, in page link, change page for low vision, search, search, ellipsis, search, button. I can even use the left navigation button to move through different headings or other web page elements. I'll move through different headings now. Ruby XL HD, larger screen, longer battery life, increased image storage, heading level 1, low vision products, heading level 2, blindness products, heading level 2, link. If I want to activate a link, I'll use the right mode button again. Back button. A new page is loaded and now I can continue to navigate the web page. If I want to move back to the prior page, I'll use the left selector button on the front panel of the display, which will activate the back button. Reader available. Freedom Scientific. Link. Image. Once I'm finished looking at the web, I'll press the letter H in Braille with the space bar, also called the H chord, and that will put me back on the home screen. Safari. Now let's open up the Notes app and practice writing some text with the Braille keyboard on the Focus 14 Blue. Notes. Notes. Note. Text field. Previous note. Dimmed. Note. Text field. I'm on the text field now and I can activate it to bring a cursor in and start typing text. Insertion point at end. When typing with the Focus 14, we can type in either uncontracted or contracted Braille. Right now I have contractions turned on. I'll type some text using the Perkins style Braille keyboard on the top of the Braille display. Space. Hello. I type the word hello. We see it in print on the screen and I can read it in Braille on the Braille display. There it is. Now I'll type a contracted word. Space. This. I typed the word this by typing the contraction, dots one, four, five, six on the braille display, and on the screen the word this appears. I'll finish out my sentence. Space. This. Space. A. Space. Test. If you prefer to type in uncontracted or computer braille, you can simply press a command. Contractions off. And now I can type in uncontracted computer braille. One of the great things about using the Focus 14 with an iOS device is that when you power down or lock your screen, 
the Focus 14 will automatically reconnect when you turn it back on. I'm going to lock my screen. Screen locked. The Focus 14 goes to sleep and just says Focus 14 in Braille. And now when I'm ready to power back on my device, 1417. I heard a chirp and it automatically reconnected. Now I can scroll down to unlock. Two stick slide to unlock. Around me. And I'm back up and running in no time. The entire Focus Blue family of refreshable Braille displays, the Focus 14 Blue, the Focus 40 Blue, and the Focus 80 Blue, work with iPads, iPods, and iPhones, as well as Android tablets and smartphones, and Windows tablets and PCs. Call toll-free 1-888-666-6126 or visit our website www.freedomscientific.com.